My name is Richard McElvain. Today I want to share a vision with you that I had shortly after becoming a Christian in 1979. I'll be sharing some other visions over the years that the Lord has given me. When I became born again in 1977, I was radically changed. Uh, my life was turned upside down. All of a sudden, uh, my heart was changed and uh, my sins were forgiven and uh, I just fell in love with the Lord so much. He forgave me much and loves and loved me much. And so uh, I was as surprised as anybody to start seeing um, the gifts of the Holy Spirit flowing in my life, uh, to see visions and dreams and uh, encounters with the Lord. And, and I, I just was so surprised. Uh, by all these things. And so I'm sharing these visions and different things that the Lord has given me, revelation he's given me in little short videos to to leave for my, uh, for, for many, for anyone, everyone, uh, and also for my family, my children and my grandchildren is a record of things that the Lord has shared with me. I'm not going to edit the videos or change them or make them sound uh, or, or share them in such a way that, to make them more acceptable in any way. I'm not going to try and explain them some of some of what he shared. I don't understand fully. Um, so I'm just going to share them as they are and trust that the Lord will bring more understanding, more revelation. Pray about them. Pray about things I share with you. Some of them may contradict other people that have seen visions and dreams. Uh, some may confirm uh, that, that, that which others have, have seen also. Um, when I share uh, that, I've, uh, that I'm, what I'm sharing as far as a vision, that means that I was awake. I was not sleeping. I was either awake, sitting, walking. Uh, I was in a full awake uh, uh, state and seeing, seeing things like a movie theater in front of me. Um, over these years, I've seen many visions had encounters with the Lord, seen angels, seen demons. Uh, my life was just radically uh, changed and God just began sharing things with me. And I never prayed for a vision, never prayed to see angels, never prayed to see the Lord. And yet all these things began happening. And so I want to share them. I share them for prayer and, and uh, trust that God will speak to you about them and reveal to you uh, anything that he should have for you out of these. The first one I want to share is the first vision that I had in 1979, uh, shortly after becoming a Christian in 1977. And just suddenly, out of nowhere, uh, it was like a movie screen, a full, full color movie screen opened up in front of me. And uh, I'm just going to give a short uh, description of what I saw uh, and let it be at that. So as, as the vision opened, uh, it was a vision of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Um, I, I saw him beaten. I saw many, many different aspects of his crucifixion. Um, it was pretty shocking. It was, it was very, very brutal. It uh, had things in it that I had not uh, heard others speak about or share about. And uh, uh, I, I actually saw, I actually saw the, the whole crucifixion and, uh, it was, uh, it was amazing. It, it caused me to fall in love with the Lord more that he would suffer so much for me, suffer the shame and humiliation. Um, one of the things I want to share with you uh, about the crucifixion that I saw that's it's interesting is, is when Jesus, I saw Jesus standing in the court and I saw two Roman soldiers come up uh, next to him and, and they had in, uh, in each one of their hands a crown of thorns. Each of them was holding it on one side. And, and they walked up to Jesus. And so many times, you know, we look at the scriptures and it says, and, and the soldiers placed, many times it might say, placed a crown of thorns on him. And so that's what I always believed. So I was shocked as I watched these Roman soldiers walk up to him and they put the crown of thorns on his forehead, but they didn't let go. And as I watched, they pushed with all their muscle, two strong Roman soldiers, they pushed the crown of thorns into his head. They pushed those thorns into his head. And as they did so, blood splurted out of the, of the wounds uh, that were upon him. And, and he, he wrenched and, 
And it was like, oh, it was so mean of those soldiers, so cruel. And yet that's what he suffered for you and me, for our well-being. The other thing I wanted to share with you that's unique that you don't normally uh, hear about or see in the scriptures real clearly, it says that the soldiers put a robe on him. And I, I guess I always thought that that robe was just a, you know, just like a bathrobe or something, just a, you know, a robe, you know, on, on him. And uh, I'll share with you what I saw in the vision. In the vision, I saw two soldiers behind Jesus. And he was standing there. He was uh, just standing in, it looked like a, a uh, just a open area, open area, uh, you know, back in the old times, they had stone, stone walls and different things. It was in some type of an open court setting. And I watched as two soldiers, uh, strong soldiers, uh, walked forward with a, a robe in their hands and their muscles were, were wrenching. It was, it was very, very, very heavy very heavy and they were straining to to bring this robe uh, up upon Jesus and they came from behind him and I saw their muscles straining as they as they slowly walked up now Jesus had already been beaten in his back by that time and uh, he he was hurting he was hurting and I saw the soldiers walk up from behind him and they and when they put the robe on the back of, on his back, he 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 didn't fall down, but he he crunched down. The weight of it was so heavy, and on those bare wounds, it must have just really really hurt. His face wrenched, and 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 the robe was so heavy, it pushed Jesus down, and he he crunched over, and and the and and and, and uh, yeah, it was it was it must have been extremely extremely painful. Um, I, I, I am, I'm not sure what it, kind of robe it was. It looks like it was, it was so big. It was so thick. It's so heavy. I, I would expect that it was a previous king's robe, something like that, of something so heavy, so thick, and so big. And uh, so th that's another suffering that, that Jesus did for you and I. And then the other thing I want to share with you is, and, and this is controversial to some, uh, because of the way that Jesus was crucified with the nails. And so as I watched in this vision, I can just share with you what I saw. Um, I saw the soldiers nail uh, the, the nails into his hand, not into his wrist, but into his hand. Uh, and he wrenched when they, when, they, when they put those nails in his hands. He, 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 what do you call it, not withered. He just, he just, he just squinched. With, with what looked like unbelievable pain. Uh, and then I saw ropes being put around his arms and his shoulder. Uh, and so that, that's what I saw. I know some people say, you know, that they believe that it was in his wrist because of this or that reason. And, and, and uh, you know, each person needs to believe what they believe for whatever reasons they believe. I'm just sharing with you what I saw in the vision. Um, Amazing love, amazing grace that he would suffer so much, so much shame and humiliation. He took your and my humiliation and shame hanging up on that cross um, in front of the whole world. And I'm so thankful for what Jesus did, that he bore my sins, bore my sicknesses, uh, bore every curse, poverty, every curse uh, came upon him that for our well-being. Uh, tremendous suffering. Tremendous love that the Father would send his Son to die for us, to sacrifice his Son. So valuable are you and me. So valuable. So, such a high price he paid for you and I to be back home with our Father in heaven for all of eternity. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your sacrifice. Thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice. Thank you for such love that you would pour out upon us, that you would bear my judgment. And we just praise you and bless you and worship you, Jesus, and give you thanks and give you, Father, give you thanks, Father. The Lord bless you. I hope this ministers to you and uh, speaks to you of how loved you are by God. Amen. Amen.